Hi guys, this is the Acer Iconia 6120, um, a laptop that came out with an interesting feature of two 14-inch uh, touchscreen uh, touchscreens, um, 1366 by 768 resolution. So they're pretty uh, high resolution um, and in great quality. Um, and I know in the eBay post I said that it wasn't able to run the Acer Iconia touch keyboard at the bottom screen because of Windows 8.1. But I did a fresh install of Windows 8.1 again yesterday, and, and it's working perfectly. So let me bring up that keyboard. One thing I want to make uh, let you know that uh, just for stability um, reasons, you want to make sure that you're in the desktop interface on the top screen and on the bottom screen before you open up the keyboard. Because without that, you're going to get into problems where the keyboard wants to populate on the bottom screen, but the Metro interface is there, and that creates stability issues. So I'm gonna bring up that keyboard right now. So you put all 10 fingers down on the screen, and there you now have a, the Acer Iconia Touch keyboard. And with this keyboard, you can use it like a normal keyboard. You have the trackpad, and as you see, it's moving there on the screen. I can open up Internet Explorer. It's kind of hard doing this with my cell phone. And if I was more. Which may try to populate here on the bottom. See, there you go. See, that's one of the things that you have to, you know, look out for. Or you can, you know, you can drag them up to the top like that to the top screen but those programs were launching on the bottom screen that's just because I, that's the last time i launched them i was using my mouse and keyboard so it wants to you know use this uh, launch the app at the same screen that you used it last um and so here we go i'm gonna bring in the modern interface it's all touch screen like i said um 10 points of touch you know which is really important when you're playing games multiplayer games uh, like the, the hockey games and stuff like that where you can have more than one player playing um, and it works normally and you can snap programs so we're going to snap four programs with this because it's two screens it's two programs for each screen so we're going to watch launch cnn and then let's bring up weather next to it so now we have cnn and weather populating on that screen and on the bottom screen let's bring up the modern interface, you swipe from the right. And let's bring up maps. And what else we want here? And calendar. So now you have four programs running at once. And <laughs> it's really cool because you can swipe through right there. You can be looking at your weather. And then now you can go through CNN. And let's allow the maps to use our location. We're down in Miami, as you know in my eBay post. Um, you can zoom in here. And then over here in calendar, you can, you know, go through your calendar and stuff. It's really cool. You have four programs all working at once um, with touch. Now, when you want to bring up the Acer Iconia keyboard, one thing you have to make sure is that on the bottom screen, like I said, you want to be on desktop. Because if you launch that and you're not on desktop, the modern interface is going to cause stability issues with the keyboard. So once you have on the bottom screen the desktop, then you can, once again, put down 10 fingers and your keyboard will launch. And so now let's say you want to just use it like a traditional laptop. You can come over here and you can um, resize and use it like you want to on a normal computer. And if you want to close this, Sometimes Let's see. sometimes it's kind of finicky at the top for with the touch screen because you're actually not pressing down as uh, as normally as you do. But uh, sometimes when you're using it in laptop mode, it's like. When you're pressing it like that. The bottom screen is usually better when you're trying to 
use touch applications. Just the top is a little bit more awkward when you're trying to use it as a regular laptop. But everything works fine. Um, like I said, it's using like a normal computer right here and this stuff is working. So you don't actually have to worry about the bottom keyboard not working because I fixed that for you. Um, lastly, um, there seems to be some issue with the wireless card. Um, it picks up my internet. I'm using wireless N and I'm at the, the 2.4, I think gigahertz band. For some reason, this doesn't pick up the five gigahertz. Um, it, it, it didn't have that feature built in, but it's not, it's connecting to the wireless end, but it's going really slow. So what I had to do is connect one of my wireless dongles here, and this supports the five gigahertz. That's why it runs faster. Um, it may be something just with my router that is not, um, the internet's not faster, but if I take this out, it still connects, but it's just at a slower speed. Um, so it may be different with your, with your wireless uh, router. Um, it depends. I wasn't able to test it on different routers. But everything uh, else works perfectly. There's no CD um, or DVD drive. And so how I install the programs and the disk that I'm going to give you with Windows 7 and the drivers, you have to use, there's two USB ports over here on this side. There you can see it, but you have to use a, a external DVD drive so you can load those programs in again. Or if you want to revert this back to Windows 7. I know a lot of people like Windows 7 better than Windows 8, but I just feel with those features and just the touch capability, it's just no reason to go back, you know, to Windows 7. Because you can have four modern programs on the same side, and there's just so many touch features that are really important and cool in this. So just to show you once again, the two screens and both touch screens. And this is Windows 8.1. Let's see if the Internet Explorer will come up here. Nope, see it still comes on the bottom screen. Which is cool, and you can still use it. My hands are kind of sweaty. There we go. And if you just wanted to use the on-screen keyboard, you can still use that instead of the, the touch keyboard if you just want to have an all touch interface. I'm really bad with the camera right now. <laughs> Let's go to Engadget. And there you are. And this is on the bottom screen. So you can be doing something completely different up there and you can go through, you know. And everything works pretty good. This is 10 points of touch, you know, that's really important. close out that program. And just to show you one more time, there's Metro at the bottom. But once again, make sure when you want this, you want the Acer Iconia keyboard that you're on a desktop mode here at the bottom. Okay? All right. Thank you so much.